Even though it may seem strange to consider the possibility of going back in time, time travel is a common practice among space experts. This year has been one for the record books thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope and the breathtaking photos it has captured of our universe. Hello everyone and welcome to Space Runner. Today we'll be looking at how the new James Webb Telescope discovery shocks scientists. Yeah, you heard it right. So let's start our video. These are photos that enable us to view distant galaxies in the state in which they existed prior to 13 billion years ago. It is the perfect opportunity to take a step back, reflect, and express gratitude for the first class seat we have on the cosmic elevator as well as the ability that these photographs provide us to journey through time. These photos represent a variety of topics, including the early universe, the birth and death of stars, the merger of galaxies, and planetary atmospheres. The scientific findings made by the JWST are incomprehensible, and it keeps shattering previously held paradigms. However, how exactly did the James Webb Space Telescope make it possible for us to witness the very first galaxies in the universe, and which of its discoveries violate the laws of physics? And have we found any indications that life might exist elsewhere in the universe? In today's video, we explore how the James Webb Space Telescope discovered galaxies that define modern physics. The speed of light is one of the most well-known rules of physics that govern our universe, and when we refer to light, we actually mean all the electromagnetic spectrums, wavelengths, that move at a staggering 300,000 kilometers per second. Light moves so quickly that it seems to happen instantly in our daily lives. However, traveling anywhere in the galaxy still requires some time, even at incredible speeds. When you stare at the moon, you actually see it as if it was 1.3 seconds ago. Even though it's a very brief glimpse into the past, it is still the past. The only difference is that photons, light particles emitted from the sun's surface, take slightly longer than 8 minutes to reach Earth. The Milky Way galaxy, our galaxy, spans more than 100,000 light years, and the beautiful young stars shown in the JWST image of the Carina Nebula are roughly 7,500 light years away. In other words, the historical period represented by this nebula occurred approximately 2,000 years before ancient Mesopotamia is believed to have established the first form of writing. Constantly, we look away from the present and towards the past and how things used to be. Astronomers can use light as has been observed throughout history. We can use space-based telescopes to observe light spectra that are obscured by the Earth's atmosphere in an effort to unravel the mysteries of our cosmos. In order to create and optimize the Hubble Space Telescope, the ultraviolet and visible regions of the electromagnetic spectrum were utilized. The JWST, on the other hand, was designed to work with different types of infrared radiation, which is a major reason why it can see further into the past than the Hubble. Galaxies release gamma rays, radio waves, and all other wavelengths on the electromagnetic spectrum. All of them provide essential information regarding the galaxy's numerous dynamics. NASA unveiled some of the first amazing photographs and data from the James Webb Space Telescope on July 12th. The four targets, each composed of three photographs and a spectrum, represent the infrared world exquisitely. On the 11th night of July, President Joe Biden made available a fourth photograph, a sharply focused ultra-deep field perspective. During a live broadcast, this vision reveals a universe that is older than anything we have ever seen. The photos and data demonstrate how James Webb has matured into a valuable research instrument showing the telescope's enormous potential to advance science. The three photographs exhibit Stevens Quintet group of galaxies, the Southern Ring Nebula and the Corinna Nebula. The spectra of WASP-96b, a giant gas exoplanet, is the fourth objective. The Corinna Nebula, one of the largest and brightest nebulae in the sky, is 7,600 light years away from Earth. It contains the supergiant star eater, Carini, which is on the verge of a catastrophic explosion, as well as Trumper 14. Its diameter surpasses 300 light years, making it one of the youngest star formation clusters known. The Carina Nebula is a massive, energetic, and sometimes violent star nursery. The building is bustling with bustle, which is extremely lovely. This breathtaking image from the Webb Telescope of the Carina Nebula's cosmic cliff reveals new information about this huge star nursery. In addition, we can now see for the first time a brand new beginning that was before completely hidden from view. In contrast, the distance between our planet and the Southern Ring Nebula is only 2,000 light years. It is a planetary nebula rotating gas cloud of a dead star that is expanding extremely hot and generating intense ultraviolet light, which illuminates the visitors surrounding it. All of its outer layers have been swept away. The newly discovered portions of the nebula, visible in the photographs, combined with the guest form shells, five galaxies are known as the Stevens Quintet. The 290 million light years away from Earth, 
yet appears impossibly close. As a result of their interactions, three of the galaxies have grown into long spiral forms, while the other two are involved in a cosmic dance that will eventually result in the quartet's collision. The five stars in the group range in age from extremely young to fairly ancient, spanning hundreds of millions of years of cosmic history. However, not every important range recorded by the James Webb Space Telescope will be aesthetically beautiful. Some of them will be maps consisting of only lines, dots, and squiggles, like the one NASA recently revealed. This graph lacks the stunning effect of Webb's view of galaxy clusters and the magnificent beauty of the Carina Nebula image. The tiny map is intriguing in its own quiet way, as are the myriad of additional maps that will be produced by the Webb telescope over the following two decades. These photos will challenge our ability to conceive of the characteristics of places far beyond our solar systems. Obviously, you must be initially aware of what you're viewing. The picture depicts a giant gaseous exoplanet that resembles Jupiter, along with significant details about its atmosphere. WASP-96b orbits its sun every 3.5 days and is 1,150 light years away from Earth. The temperature within it approaches 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, around 538 degrees Celsius. Since its 2013 discovery, the only known cloudless planet, the WASP-96b, has remained a mystery and a top focus of research interest. New observations from Webb have provided scientists with more information about that peculiar environment. When Webb analyzed the starlight that reached the exoplanet's atmosphere, it was able to detect indications of water and even clouds on this extremely hot planet. Clouds are pretty unique. Due to its high temperature, rock can condense in the air as water does on Earth. Contrary to Earth's sand, which makes up the clouds on WASP-96b, it became evident that given the correct pressure and temperature circumstances, many other substances besides water will condense. Thanks to the Webb telescope, exoplanets will no longer be viewed as mysterious cosmic objects, but rather as very real locations with an alien sky. There are an estimated 300 million potentially habitable planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone, and several of these planets are only 30 light years away from Earth. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned!